Uh, it's great to meet you both, and what a fantastic film this is. Uh, what does it feel for you both, and we'll go individually, to be a part? What does it feel like to be a part of this historic movie? I mean, it's it's amazing. You know, the, the obviously, like, NASA is sort of a part of your life as you grow up as a kid in, in the U.S., and it's always been this fascinating thing, and going into space and what it took to get to the moon has always really intrigued me. So when I got the role, I just, I couldn't believe it. I was so excited. And the first thing that we got to do was come to Houston, go to Houston, come here to Florida, see everything, experience like pretty much all there is to experience here. It's pretty, I was just amazing. You liked it. Yes. Same question for you. What does it feel like to be a part of this film? I really enjoyed meeting Damien in the auditioning process. It was a unique auditioning process. Uh, it really felt like we were just hanging out, workshopping the scenes, and he was already like stoked for me to be there, which does not happen. Like, doesn't happen in auditions. So, uh, it was, it was a feeling I got. I was like, I know he's sharp. I know he's squared away. But then when we got on set, I was watching the way that he was putting the film together, and it was really. Uh, unique, really actually very special and uh, masterful, really masterful work that he was he was doing on set and Linus and everybody really, the whole structure was was really well done and um, so that's like the filmmaking element. I, I'm really happy I get to be part of something that I consider, you know, very high quality and uh, as well as like he's talking about like you know about NASA growing up and uh, you know about that legacy and now you know, to get to sort of portray part of the legacy is uh, What intrigued cool. you the most about your characters? You're playing real people. What was interesting most, do you think, about playing these individuals? Well, uh, so Michael Collins, my character, wrote a book called Carrying the Fire, and it's a fascinating book. And he's incredibly uh, eloquent and just such a good writer. I read this book, and I couldn't believe what he did to get, to get there. And he became a hero of mine, a totally unexpected hero. And uh, I have nothing but admiration and I'm in awe of, of him and, and all these guys that, that did what they did back then to get, to get there. Same question for you and I'm curious, as you went through the research process to get ready, what surprised you the most about your character? Um, I think how absent he was from the legacy. Like, uh, when we were here, we went into the Astronaut Hall of Fame uh, room over at the Space Center. And, um, you know, beforehand, our tour guide was like, oh, all, all of your guys are going to be in there. And I was like, oh, great, I can't wait to see. But, like, I got in there, and I, I realized it was everybody with mission patches. And Elliot C. never got to go on a mission. And so I, I found that experience actually pretty uh, profound and somewhat sad. And, uh, and I missed him, like I, I felt his absence there. And so I, I think um, I also wanted to, to try to bring that across in the film. And I know Damien wanted to do that too, so um, yeah. Well, before I get out of here, I got to say, Texas uh, Film Hall of Fame, congratulations on that. Oh, thank well, you. Well, I love it and inducted you, didn't he? <laughs> that's yes. right. That's, that's so right. cool, man. Congratulations yeah. on that. Oh, that's cool. I haven't heard about that in a while. <laughs> well, we, we're, I'm a Texas guy, I got to say <laughs> yeah. that. And dude, almost famous. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's just the best. That's my go-to movie every time, oh, just thanks, to go-to. So congratulations on this, and uh, it's great work. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. All right, thank guys. You.